Hello YouTube, I'm AK. Hard disk drives are one of the most boring things to talk about as many have already given reviews and this is an old technology too. So what's new to talk about in a hard disk drive you may ask? Well, what I have today is a drive from G Technology. It's called the Armor ATD. Nice name, ATD like an ADV or an SUV nomenclature to highlight the go anywhere attitude. The ATD I guess is an abbreviation of any terrain drive. I shall talk about the generic stuff first. It comes with 1, 2, 4 and 5 terabyte capacity, so no shortage of space in any way. It comes EX5 formatted to work out of the box with your Windows or Mac. It's future proofed by a way of Type-C interface so that it can work with all your latest devices. If you have a slightly older USB interface on your system, it also comes with USB 3.0 to Type A. Interesting bit here is the crush proof and the IP rating that the drive comes with. The claim is that it can withstand a crush resistance of up to 1000 pounds. Let's find out. This is my car and I, I will drive the car over the drive. I know it's cliched, but you will see how. And, and once I drive it, uh, I'll also make sure that I keep the tire on the drive so that I can transfer some content into the drive and see whether it works or not. Okay, now that I've, my car is actually on the drive now and even after that, you can still see uh, the drive you can write into the drive which is the armor atd at around 126 megabytes a second that's stupendous considering the fact that it's still an, under a lot of pressure with a lot of weight of the car on the drive but still transferring content that's good rarely does something come around that's made for made for a purpose and for a specific set of people who demand such readiness this is the right tool for an enthusiast who wants his gear to be as added as him in the outdoor Price at around 14,000 rupees for a 2 tablet version is slightly expensive, but for the one who needs the best, there's no looking elsewhere. All that's done, let's also see how the standard CDM performs on Windows 64.